What's going on, everybody? It's Shmojo for my softbox. guys enjoy that opening? I had a blast making that thing, but it took way longer than I'd like to admit. It was like two days of filming and editing just for like 15 seconds worth of stuff. Anyway, for real this time, what's going on? I'm Shmojo14. Today we're going to be looking at the Godux umbrella. Godux? Godux. Godot. I'm not sure how to say that one. Anyway, the Godux umbrella. We're going to go with Godux. I'm sure I'm wrong and I'm sure y'all let me know. So originally when I bought my umbrella lighting, I didn't realize one of the things that they're going to do is light up the entire room all together. So I got like a really flat looking image going on here. I want to try to separate myself a little bit from the background, give it a little more contrast. There's obviously almost no shadows across my face or anything because I've got both umbrella lights set up to either side of the camera, which is just illuminating the entire room, the background, everything else around. So what I went ahead and did is actually ordered a softbox. Now, what's nice about the softbox is that it's gonna envelop the light on the sides and actually just pump light out the front, give me a little bit more directional light. That's kind of what I'm looking for. I went ahead and purchased this softbox on purpose. I wanted something that had a center mount pole that would actually fit into the slot that's already on the light stands I purchased. I didn't wanna buy an entire assembly. So that's why this one sits before us. Now, if you guys wanna check out my current light kit that I'm using, I'll go ahead and link it down in the description. The video is kinda of hokey, but you know, I'm still really new at this. Hopefully you can enjoy that one. So this one says softbox, size octa 80 centimeters or 31 and a half inches for us American types. Ain't much to it. You got a nice case if you need to be carrying it around. Velcro strap inside. Here's our diffusion panel. Now I don't know what it's made out of, but it appears to be opaque. Velcro on all eight sides. It's got a slit on each of the eight corners. Is it corners if it's eight? I don't know. I'm gonna say corners. Y'all can deal with it later. Enough about that. Onward ho. Last but not least, the umbrella itself. So this thing ran me $20.99. Took a couple days to get here. Looks to be built out of some kind of polyester or something on the outside of it. The description on the thing says it's high density nylon and it says it's to be highly reflective. So I'm assuming what they're talking about is the stuff on the inside here. So one of the things I don't like is that the mount rod is actually shorter than the hub, which all the spokes mount to. And so it's really hard to get a hold of it. So you have to stick your fingers either inside or push it from the back to get it started. And then you can finally get a hold of her. <laughs> and then push her back. Also, I don't know if it's a bad thing or a good thing, but there is a lot of tension on this. So what I've noticed is I pushed the little tab to release the hub. I pinch my feeners every single time. Also a giant side bonus is it stopped the aliens from reading my brain waves. Nanu nanu. <laughs> so if it wasn't obvious from that, here we go. <laughs> the light stand rod goes through the hole here. And when a mommy umbrella and a daddy umbrella love each other very much. <laughs> so that's anyway where the light stand rod goes. Comes through, zipper on both sides. You can tighten it up around the light stand itself. You take it to Velcro pieces, you stick the thing in. You kind of saw it in the opening of the video. Really not rocket surgery here. Anyway, so the thing feels kind of stout. Ouch. <laughs> So obviously the next thing is we gotta get this thing put on a light stand. Dang, does it look all super moody in here now? It's kind of weird because it's a little bit darker in the room all the way around. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. We only got the one light on now. No fill light, no hair light, nothing like that. Maybe the uh, LED strip from the previous video is looking a little bit brighter in this video. Now the thing is too, is I'm using the kit lens on this camera right now. We only have a three and a half f-stop, so I can't let as much light in. I've got a young Nuo 35 millimeter lens on the way that has an f-stop of two actually, so I'm hoping to be able to like let a lot more light in. I had to move the camera's ISO to 1600 now to get the proper exposure. 
Really hoping it's not too grainy looking or anything like that. The soft box itself is off to about a 30 degree angle. I'd like to have it at a 45, but with the room the way it is, ain't gonna happen right now. So this is kind of what I'm looking for. I wanna have high contrast across my face, shadowed on this side, lit on the other side. Not that real flat lighting like I had earlier with the umbrellas. Now I'm gonna swap this thing over so it's directly at my face. That way you can see what flat lighting looks like. All right, so here's the light actually directly pointed at my face. Like I said, there shouldn't be a whole lot of shadows going on on either side of my face. Very flat, it's kind of a boring look. I wouldn't say it's a moody look by any means. Now the thing is that this lighting is gonna work for like makeup and beauty type videos where you need like real even lighting all the way across the face. You're not looking for that dramatic look or cinematic look, however you guys wanna say it. Thing is too, we moved the light actually in closer. So we had to drop the ISO down from the 1600 previous now back to 800, so that's just something to think about. Now I wanna put the thing directly overhead to give it that interrogation, super dramatic type look. I told you everything I know you said you'd let her go. So this is my interrogation type, real dramatic overhead lighting. Now camera lady's over here holding the thing on the bed because we don't actually have a boom or anything like that. If you've seen my previous videos, you know that this is actually a bedroom and she's starting to shake from holding the light. So we're gonna go ahead and let her back down. Now I really hope this video could help you guys in a decision if you're trying to look for an umbrella or a soft box or change up your lighting in general. Let me know down in the comments if you like the way it's looking. Also, what are you guys using for lighting? I'd like to know that myself. If you guys enjoyed what you saw today, leave me a like, comments, feedback, suggestions, any of it and all of it's appreciated. And like always, thanks for hanging out with me.